Lake Garda, starting point for the Pila. And the wind is coming from the north this morning. Don't worry, the boat show will tell all. This is the normal position for the crew when you're attacking, in the star class, the helmsman sitting comfortably at the back, whilst the bowman, as you can see, hangs onto the straps completely overboard, trying to weigh the boat down as much as possible. The star is often called the old woman, as she's pretty old. She was designed in 1911 by the Ghana studio in New York City. Lo è indubbiamente per la stazza, pesa 670 kg per 7 metri ed era indubbiamente la classe olimpica più pesante alle ultime Olimpiadi. Weight-wise, she's undoubtedly an Olympic heavyweight, weighing in at 670 kilos for 7 meters. For her bearing too, even with all this wind, she's pretty slow but incredibly elegant. So, even though she's not considered an Olympic class and not made of carbon, so doesn't literally fly, there are still a good 86 crews enrolled in this Star Class World Championship. Would you have competed in the Olympics in your home country of Brazil, in Rio, if Star had remained an Olympic class? Sarebbe stato bello. Difficile. It would have been nice, difficult with the other commitments I have, but definitely would have been nice to participate in an Olympics in Brazil. Do you think the star category is definitely out of the Olympics? Mi pare di sì, troppo tardi per fare i cambiamenti. È un peccato. Togliere la star nell'Olimpiada del I'm afraid so. It's too late to change it now, which is a shame. Taking Star out of the Brazilian Olympics is like taking the slalom out of Italy when Alberto Tombo was doing it. It's offensive to the whole country. True. It's the sport with the best results in Brazil. And what's your link with Italy? Do you like being here? Are you happy? Are you still friends with Luna Rossa? It's been a while since I have been in Italy, so I'm very happy to be here at the World Championships, catching up with loads of friends that I have here on Lake Garda. And after, I'm going to Lake Como, and then on to San Francisco to do the Pacific race. For the America's Cup, maybe? No, 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 I'm going to do a nice regatta from San Francisco to Hawaii. Stars are very fond to my heart and um, I was just down the road with our Australian sailing team at, with the foiling catamaran and you know couldn't help but come and <laughs> check up on some old friends and, and watch some good racing. Yeah it is the it's the opposite end of the spectrum to the America's Cup boat you know but these are great boats um, you know difficult to sail like the America's Cup boats but you know they're technical and you know and difficult and but it's slow whereas America's <laughs> Cup boats are fast um, but nevertheless, you know, we like 12 metres, we like foiling catamarans. Um, if it's good competition and good people, we like it. Star has been an Olympic category since 1932 up to London 2012, but it won't be in the Brazilian Olympics in 2016. But that doesn't mean that it can't go back to being Olympico class. In the years in which it was, many big names in international sailing were on board, like Dennis Connor, Paul Kayard, Paul Elverstrom. Today, there are lots of big names in international sailing that we'll introduce you to. 
Well, my father was a star sailor, so it uh, started at a young age. And uh, my first Star Worlds was in 1975. And uh, I didn't sail everyone between then, but uh, maybe about 30 Star World Championships, and I was lucky to win two. The guy that uh, designed the boat in 1911, uh, he was ahead of his time, obviously, because it has a nice uh, big mainsail, uh, small jib, fast and light air, challenging and strong wind. It's just everybody enjoys sailing the boat. It's fun. Develop this idea of a professional league, so to to sail for earning our life and earning money. And so we try to look out uh, everywhere who was interested in this kind of idea. And uh, so we find some good uh, opportunities and we launched the Star Sailor League. Ah, to have the gold star is uh, one of the highest awards you can, you can have in sailing at the moment. Uh, for sure you have the America's Cup, you have all this uh, offshore racing and uh, match racing, but on the regular sailing, uh, uh, this is the most difficult thing, I think, to, to achieve. <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually, but I like it a lot. They're very nice, the guys, it's like a big family, the Starfleet, and I really enjoy it to, to sail here at this wonderful venue at Lake Garda. La valenza del mondiale anche che assegna 2500 punti per la Star Sailor League. Another thing about the World Cup is that it's worth 2500 points in the Star Sailors League. I am in third place at the moment, so I might just gain a place if all goes well. The finals are already planned to be in Nassau, which was great last year with its qualifying system and then in the final days at 10, 7 and then 4, high tension and great regattas. The boat makes you feel so good. I can't wait to sail whenever I can. I love being on board. The Star World Championship has six tests. Usually you do one a day. The day finishes the minute you launch when the crane takes the boat out of the water and puts it on the trailer. It just happens every day after the test. <laughs> <laughs>